Mastering anything in your life takes time. So whether you're starting a new business or starting with crypto, I really do want to focus a little bit on crypto and business because it becomes a craft. It's something that you practice and eventually you get good at it. And the more that you do it, the better that you get at it. If I could go back to my younger self and give one tip, well, besides buying Bitcoin, obviously, but if I could give one really good tip is be kind to yourself and be patient because I think often I used to want something and I would want it now. And so I like work really hard. And then if I wasn't where I wanted to be right now, or I see other people getting where they are faster than me, I would be like, something's wrong with me. What's wrong? Why can't I be where I am? Why are my businesses failing? Why is this happening? Right? It wasn't until I had a successful business, an online store, and it wasn't until the first month that I made $50,000 in one month that I was like, oh my god like i've made it <laughs> like that's how i kind of thought but until that point it was like really 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 stressful and then when it happened it actually happened quite quickly but it took all these mistakes and all of this experience to kind of make it happen that quickly and it took quite a bit of failed businesses to make that happen so my advice to you is really to be kind to yourself and take your time with things because you can't compare your chapter one to somebody's chapter 20, which is a quote that I heard a long time ago. And it really, really made me think like everything takes time, right? And so when you're learning crypto, people often they come in and they're like, okay, how long is it going to take me to learn this? I want to learn it now. And they're like really, really, really hyped up and they haven't even finished the course and are already asking like a million questions. And it's like, oh, well, did you see this video or this video? Like watch it first, take your time. Crypto is not going away. So take your time, whatever your craft is, you could take your time learning it well, practicing and doing it well. The best things that you could ever, ever, ever do, in my opinion, is take some training because then you're kind of picking up where the other person left off. Think about like reading a book or taking an online course. You're literally absorbing all the information somebody else already went through, mistakes somebody else already went through. So definitely, definitely, definitely take some training. Things don't just happen in an instant. So you can't just be where you, you see the other person is, you can't just be there right away. So with crypto, for example, that's a solid skill. Like to be able to trade crypto, it's a skill that you're gonna have for life. And it's a skill, like whenever you need money, you're like, okay, I'll just trade some crypto and you can make money and withdraw it straight into cash. It's like an amazing skill to have. In my opinion, it's better even than business because it's literally money on demand and you don't have to put in a lot to get back a lot. So I think it's an amazing thing. So if you could master that, you wouldn't just master it in five hours. You need like 10,000 hours to become an expert, but you can't just expect yourself to become an expert right away. That's why you practice in a simulated environment. So you put in your 10,000 hours over time. So I've been in cryptocurrency in the space since 2013, which is when I bought my first Bitcoin, but I was actually looking at it since 2012, but looking at it doesn't make me an expert, does it? It's like doing it over and over again and getting better and better and better at it and just keep trying and trying and trying to improve yourself. So you're improving who you were, you're improving how you're trading. So you're just comparing yourself to yourself. That's what you should be doing. And that's like with anything, with any kind of business that you're starting to compare yourself to yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. If you want something bad enough, you'll put in the time and you'll put in the hours that it takes to get it. And if you're not doing that, then maybe you just don't want it bad enough. Maybe you don't really want to do it, but you feel like you're kind of forced to do it. You really need that self-awareness of yourself to realize, okay, well, why am I doing this? Why? What's your why? Because if you don't actually want it and you don't want it bad enough, you're not even going to bother putting in the hours it takes to get good at something. If you ever looked at famous artists like Van Gogh and Da Vinci and... If you ever been to any of those museums, you'll learn so much more about them. Like how did they actually get good at what they did? And if you look at their story, they all kind of say whatever they thought, however long they thought that it would take them to get good at it, it actually took longer. Everything took longer than expected. And us looking back at these artists, we're like, wow, that's amazing what they've done. But can you imagine all the time before they made that painting, they put in so much time. So don't try to 
beat yourself up just because you think, oh, I should be here and I'm not here. So now you're upset about it. Don't worry about it. Just be patient with yourself. You really do need to practice what you're doing. You need to put the time into it, a block out time on your calendar for it, focus on it and really use that time to just do your craft. And that's the thing. If you want to become a master of your craft, you really do have to put in that time. You have to focus on it. So you really want to ask yourself, how bad do you want this thing? How bad do you want to get good at crypto trading? Because you got to think if you're going to be a master at this, take your time, go slow, go through the courses, go through the motions, go through the lessons, watch them over and over again, practice in a simulated environment, and then you get better and better and better. And then you're going to start seeing like, holy crap, that's a good entry point. That's a good exit point. Like you're in and out and you're making money like crazy. So I feel like I'm a little bit of an expert at this point, but I do know that there's still more to learn. There's always more to learn. Like I feel like for the rest of my life now, I'm going to be learning. And even though I think like, oh yeah, I, I think that I got this by now. I don't. There's always, always, always more to learn. And that's why I keep taking lessons and I keep putting in the time. Once you've reached at one point of your career or your craft, you think I'm successful now so I can stop. No, you actually never stop learning. And that's something that I actually learned at a very young age when I went to programming school and they told me this is an industry that you pretty much never stop learning. It's IT. You're never, it's never going to stop. You finish school and it's already new. You already have to learn a new software. You already have to learn a new programming language. It's always going to be continuous learning for the rest of your life. Do you want to do that? And I thought, yeah, I do want to do that because I love learning. So you really need to love learning to become a master of your craft and not just practice. You have to keep learning everything new about it. If you're persistent and you keep going, you're going to put in the time and put in the hours that it takes. And it might not even take a month. It might not even take a year. It might even take five or 10 years. So maybe if you're starting a business, you might not be successful the first year, but in five years, you're probably going to be doing pretty good as long as you stay consistent and you focus on it and not have 10 different things. Like even Warren Buffett says, if you have goals, take 20 of your goals and like write them all down. So if you want, you could write them all on post-it notes all over the place and then order them by priority. Take the top five that you like and then discard the rest and just focus on five. And I think, you know what? Take the first one and discard the rest and just focus on one. If you just focus on one of your goals and get really, really good at it or one of your wants or desires, like what do you want to do? Just focus on the thing that you want and only focus on it. Become obsessed over it. Everything takes more time than you think that it does. So if you become obsessed over the one thing, you'll get really, really good at it. So for example, I've always liked having a lot of different businesses because I'm like, if this doesn't work out, uh, I have something to fall back on because things have been really, really good and then they failed and I'm like, oh, I thought I was like successful now. Uh, no, you're broke. So you have to start again. I think that one lesson that I really learned is not to focus on all the things, focus on one thing at a time. So if you're going to focus on one business, get it to a point where it's doing really well and you could hire a team and get it going in a certain way to make it money like without you. And then you focus on the next business and the next business and your next project. But don't focus, don't start like three businesses at once because you're like, that's a good idea, that's a good idea, and that's a good idea. I'm going to do it all. No, don't do that because you're actually diluting your own energy that you could be focused on one. So for example, last year I started a brand new business and within seven months it made a million dollars in revenue. And that's the fastest I've ever been able to achieve that. So I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> And yeah, and that came over just focusing on it and only it, like nothing else. If you could set up some automation on your other stuff and just kind of like focus on your one business, that'll be good. Now I'm kind of focused on crypto and I'm not doing that much else. Like I'm focused on crypto. I block out a time to do it. Uh, and sometimes I look at it throughout the day because it's my main focus and everything else is secondary. Like going to the gym is secondary. Thing is right now in our lives, we dibble dabble into so many things. We want so many things, but why not try to get really good at one or two things? Like start by getting good at one thing. And once you've reached your goal, then it's like, okay, well now you're at like some kind of level of success. You could kind of trickle into other things, but have your one main thing that you're good at.